All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racham Rash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so and that doesn't waken up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Farah from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now, as you can see on the screen, um, this is a page, you know, um, that I follow. It's called Epic Economist. Okay, and um, you know, pretty much daily, <laughs> um, they do shows, okay, or videos, you know, pretty much going into the economy and uh, you know, all the inner makings or inner workings of the economy and its demise. Okay, as you can see on the screen, you know, the first one uh, right here says uh, out of stock, okay, and it says the collapse has begun. Um, be ready for the collapse, and the collapse begins, okay? So pretty much um, they use these same titles all the time, but uh, they bring out new information. Uh, what's going on with the economy and in and, and its collapse okay as you can see here it says out of stock okay and that's what i want to deal with in this lesson okay and it's a video i uh probably watched a week ago and um you know the spirit just got back around to me uh you know to do it because you know uh, the ones you see on the screen are more relevant okay but nonetheless Okay, I want to speak on, um, you know, certain things that are that are going to be out of stock, okay, or there's shortages on, okay, coming through this last quarter of the year, okay, and um, you know, for those of us who occupy a prophecy, <laughs> the, these things uh, to hear these things are extremely refreshing, you know, because what it shows is that. First and foremost, the scriptures, okay, are faithful and true. But also, we're at the end of this thing, okay. Um, uh, what's that? Sirach twenty-five and seven. It speaks about, uh, you know, nine things. Well, roughly paraphrasing, it says there are nine things that I find in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. He that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Okay. And all of these things we see culminating uh, in sight that what? We are witnessing the fall of our enemy. Okay. And our top adversary, uh, because all the nations are our enemies. Okay. Um, and they fought against Jerusalem and they're dead set against our heavenly father and his son. Okay. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. But, um, you know, as far as our top adversary goes, we are witnessing his demise, and it's beautiful, okay? And the, the irony about it is the Lord is uh, pretty much using, um, the Lord is pretty much using him to bring himself down, okay? And it's absolutely beautiful, okay? Um, so here I have a list, okay, off screen of shortages, Okay, product shortages and you know some of them you know may come across as you know eh, who cares but like with everything it's always about gradualism and a buildup okay and the scriptures tell us what to not be ignorant of a small thing or a great okay and then ultimately what the culmination of small things equate to bigger things right okay so we get into some of these shortages okay and this is you know like I say this is these are things that are, have been reported within this last quarter of this year 
2023. So bear with me. Okay, so I got a list of uh, 15, yeah, I believe it's 15 different shortages that are taking place uh, right now as we speak. Okay, the first one is uh, diapers. Okay, and you know, um, they brought out a statistic that uh, people are spending. Okay, not only are there shortages, but there's inflation. Okay, inflation, shrinkflation. Okay, and all of these things uh, pretty much have culminated since what? You know, the, uh, the pandemic, you could say, for lack of better words. Okay, and it's brought uh, shortages. Why? Because the supply lines took a huge hit. Okay, and they've never recovered. Okay. So not only are there shortages, but there's also inflation. Okay, so uh, the first on the list is diapers. And people uh, that have to buy diapers are pretty much spending $100 a month, okay, on diapers alone. See? Uh, number two is fuel, right? Because the refineries in, in Texas uh, are short. Okay, and as and I'm speaking as far as um, oil production here in America. Okay, and as we know, um, America pretty much exports their oil. Okay, the oil that America produces is not used in house. Okay, it's exported, and in return, Americans rely on what um, import from Saudi Arabia, okay? But, you know, as I've been reporting, you know, within the past two or three months, uh, Saudi Arabia, along with the other OPEC nations, um, pretty much have, uh, you know, are pretty much pulling the chair from under uh, America's uh, hind parts, to say the least. Why? Because, hey, as we read in the scriptures, the nations are mad and the, the skirts have been lifted and they see exactly who uh, you for who you are okay and uh, Saudi Arabia and, and I believe it was uh, Iraq either Iraq or Iran basically you know did a, uh, an emergency press conference saying that they're gonna cut their production of barrels of oil even lower than what they are now why it's and they denied it. They said, uh, is this a shot at the West? And Saudi Arabia said, of course not. But really it is. Okay, why? Because like we're reading here, one of the shortages here in America is their oil refineries in Texas. Okay, America does not, you know, our, our uh, oil uh, refineries are, are, are basically depleted. And we depend on other nations. Okay, but those other nations are saying, look, we're going to cut down production. You see? So, actually that's a direct shot at the west okay so um the third one on the list is uh, uh pumpkin pumpkin crops okay and why is that significant you know all these people in the halloween spirit okay well there's gonna be a shortage on pumpkins you know um the fourth one is firewood in um the reason why there's a shortage on firewood is because there's uh, there's an over demand for it, okay? Because obviously, uh, with the C19 and you know the production lines and supply lines taking a hit, okay. Um, now that they're back up and running, the demand is higher than it would normally be. You see, so there's a shortage. Uh, the fifth one on the list is French fries. <laughs> And um, why why is there a shortage on French fries? Because of the weather catastrophes, okay, and the things that have been happening uh, as far as the weather is concerned. Um, the sixth one on the list is Halloween uh, Halloween chocolates, and the reason why they're taking a hit as far as Halloween chocolates and chocolates in general is because one of the major producers of chocolate or cocoa. Um, 
is in Cameroon. And, you know, because of the imbalanced weather in Cameroon, they, the cocoa crops have taken a hit. Um, well, number seven on the list is uh, popular toys. And why? Is there a shortage on popular toys? Because there's a plastic shortage. Okay, and like I said, ever since the C19, okay, um, when the supply lines were shut down, okay, they've never recovered, you know, and they won't recover, especially, you know, on the wake of possibly, and I say possibly being modest, of another shutdown, okay? Now, we'll. We're uh, on the brink of a government shutdown, okay? But, you know, the pandemic uh, resurging, okay, is going to bring forth what? Another shutdown. And if that happens, America's through, okay? Um, number eight is onions. There's a shortage on onions, and obviously because of the weather and, uh, you know, just the, the, the husbandry of onions and the harvesting, you know, all of these things took a hit. Verse 9, it says car batteries. There's a shortage on car batteries. Okay. Uh, verse 10, it says rock, uh, rock salt. There's a shortage on rock salt. And what's the significance of rock salt? Hey, well, there's a cold winter coming. And uh, those that live in those states, they use rock salt uh, basically to... Uh, to generate, for lack of better words, the snow that uh, piles, they pour that salt, you know, out on the streets, and it helps with, you know, um, you know, uh, I, I guess they would call it hydroplaning, you know, for that black ice, you know, that rock salt helps to combat that. But well, there's a shortage on it. Verse, I mean, <laughs> verse eleven, but uh, number eleven on the list is back to school supplies. Okay. 12 is uh, ADHD medicines, okay? <laughs> ADHD medicines, and, that, and not just ADHD medicines, but all medicines, uh, period, okay? Because, hey, same reason. Supply line takes a hit, never recovers, okay? Because when you, when you look at supply lines and how they work, okay, uh, companies never uh, produce um, excess, Okay, why? Because excess costs money or expenditures that companies not, are not willing to spend. Okay, like a, a car manufacturer, uh, they're gonna have just enough brakes, just enough hoods, just enough doors. Okay, they're not gonna have extra. Why? Because it costs money to store extra. So they're typically gonna have just enough. Okay, and it's gonna be according to their inventory. All right, so it says, um, for, uh, 13 on the list is snow blowers. You see, and all of these things might sound minuscule, but the reality is these things are necessities, especially for those that live in colder, colder climates. Okay, and they've been uh, foretelling that this is going to be a cold winter. This is it's going to be extreme. Why? Because it's been an extreme summer. Okay, it's being an extreme fall, so obviously it's going to be an extreme winter, okay? And more importantly, because prophecy says so, so the Heavenly Father is showing signs, okay? So it says, um, uh, number 14, Yep, uh, 14 is uh, air purifiers, okay? Let me see. Yep, air, air purifiers. That's another um, shortage. Okay, let's see. 
and like I said, these things might sound minuscule, but okay, small things equate to big things. Okay, and um, the last on the list is salmon. Why? Because there has been a fishing ban. Okay, so and, and at the end of the day, all of these things, all of these shortages have been manufactured. First and foremost, by Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, but the physical manifestation of these things are taking place. Why? Because the wicked is bearing rule. Okay, as the scriptures say, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Why? Because he's sinister. And everything uh, that he has in his power to do, he's going to do. Okay? And obviously, as we always say, you can't name one thing that the self-proclaimed white man has done to further growth in this society. Okay? Not one thing. You can't name it. Right? Why? Because he is the wicked the Bible speaks of. And the scriptures say that. The Most High has made him crooked. So if something has been made crooked, what thing can he do that is conducive to the growth of civilization? And the answer is absolutely nothing. Okay? So, matter of fact, let's start with that. Um, let's start with that. book of Micah chapter 2 verse 1 it says woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it, it, it is in the power of their hands you see and who is this speaking about the wicked Esau Edom okay? uh, Job 9 and 24 the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked he covered the faces of the judges thereof if not, where and who is he? Okay, so if it ain't Esau Edom, okay, who who's who calling the shots? Okay, who's who's causing shortages and, and supply line um, degradation, okay, so to speak? Okay, if he's not the one who's covered the faces of the judges, who are the judges? The Israelites. If he, if he's not the one who covered the faces, where and who is he? Show show us the, who did it. Okay. The Messiah, the Heavenly Father, King David, all the renowned men of the scriptures have been depicted as uh, so-called white men, okay? Not Moabite or Chinese men or Japanese men, okay? Or African men, you see? So, read that again. It says, uh, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands, right? And I always say that when you're the wicked and you have power over everything, what do you do, okay, for fun? This, you, you, you bring demise and destruction and poverty and, you know, just get a kick out of seeing people struggle, okay? But, hey, reality is he was created to do that, okay? So... It is what it is, and, and that's first and foremost. This, what we're witnessing, and these shortages and everything is being manufactured, okay? But the comfort in it is knowing that ultimately, Yahweh Shimei Shai is manufacturing. He's just using this devil to do it so that he can condemn him, okay? So let's get another piece of this. I want you to open up the Bible. Yep. 
Yep, this is Zephaniah chapter 1. Zephaniah 1 and 10, it says, And it shall come to pass in the day, saith Yahweh Shemarashai, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a an howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Okay, and what is this speaking of? Okay, ultimately. This is prophetical about the crash of the economy here in Babylon and in the world, uh, so to speak. Okay, and we speak about the fish gate. Hey, well, what what does the fish gate represent? Okay, uh, food commerce. You know, you know the Lord is saying there's going to be a crashing. Okay, ultimately the crashing of the stock market. Okay, which ultimately is being manufactured. You see, like we read in Michael the. Uh, second chapter, they practice it upon their beds. Why? Because they're weirdos, okay? They're creeps and they're wicked. Okay, and they get a kick out of seeing people squirm and, 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 and you know, um, you know, fight over, uh, uh, you know, a slice of bread. You know, that's just who they are. Okay, Zephaniah 1 and 11. It says, How ye inhabitants of Mactesh. Okay, and the Mactesh is a is a you know another code name for Babylon or America. Okay, because when you go into the history, Mactesh was a, a basically like a, a, a city of merchants, you know, buying and selling. Okay, and that's pretty much a vibration here in Babylon. This is a consumer nation. You see, it says, "How ye inhabitants of Mactesh, for all the merchants." So like all the merchant people are out. It says are cut down. So like you read that again. It says uh, Zephaniah one and eleven. It's how how ye inhabitants of Mactesh, for all the merchants, the merchant people are cut down. All all they that bear silver are cut off. Okay, and that's exactly what we're seeing. And things are, are gradually happening. Okay, there's gradualism. So we're seeing shortages in all these products. Okay, and that's just a, that's just you know, 15 that were on their list. Okay, obviously there there are more shortages. Okay, a lot of businesses, big box companies, are on the brink of filing for bankruptcy. Okay, or going out of business. Why? Because we're at the end of this thing. Okay. And then ultimately, okay, like we were going into the into Micah, okay, this devil is propagating this on the people. Okay, why? Because he wants to collapse collapse this system and come in with his new system, okay, the Great Reset or the New World Order. You know, but as we read in the Book of Job, the Heavenly Father says right before he's about to fill his belly, the Most High is going to upset him. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll read 12 for edification's sake. It says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish them that are settled on their lees that say in their heart, Yahweh by Shem Shai will not do good, neither will he do evil. Okay? So, ultimately, all of these things are happening why for judgment okay and more specifically what uh, judgment on who the children of israel okay obviously the heavenly father is going to judge the nations for their wickedness okay but as we read in amos the third chapter the heavenly father said you only have i known of all the families of the earth meaning you israelites therefore i will judge you for your iniquity okay and the scriptures speak about judgment beginning first with who the children of israel okay why because we know better that damn edomite doesn't know better or by Chinese or Japanese or African, Hamite, they don't know better. Okay, you Israelites know better. The Heavenly Father has given you his given us his word. Okay, and we all swore by his word that we would 
adhere to it, okay? And that's the reason why we're in this predicament. Because we broke the covenant, okay? Let's get another piece up. Um, let's go to Second Ezra. Okay, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse twenty. Second Ezra chapter six, uh, six verse twenty, and it reads, "And in the world that shall begin to vanish away, uh, so like to, uh, shall be, shall be finished. Then will I show thee tokens. The books shall be opened uh, before the firmament." They shall see all together. Okay, and we're and we're, we're living this out right now as we speak. Okay, the books have been opened. Why? Because the Lamb was worthy to open the seals of the book. Okay, meaning what the understanding of the scriptures, and we have the full understanding of the scriptures. That's why we boldly profess that here at Great Millstone we have 100% truth. Okay, not to boast in ourselves, but we're boasting in the Lord. Why? Because the scriptures say that the Most High has given you an unction. To know all things, meaning what? The anointing to know all things. All things what? As it pertains to the scriptures. Okay. This is uh second Ezra 6 and 21. And it says, And the children of a year old uh, shall speak with their voices. The women the child shall bring forth untimely children. Hold on one second. Yeah, shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up. Okay, so. Children are gonna, um, you know, be born on time, be premature, okay, but they're gonna live, okay. Let me see, what's the point? All right, okay, here's the point. Second Ezra six and twenty two, and it reads, and suddenly shall the song places appear. Song, okay, and suddenly shall the song places appear unsung. Okay, and what does that mean? Okay, that loftiness, that, that that abundance, okay, that we're accustomed to here in Babylon in America. You know, these storehouses have an ample. Okay, like you go to Home Depot, man, like you can't even walk down the aisles. They have so much product that they don't have enough shelf space to put it. Okay. But the scriptures say it is again. It says, and suddenly shall the song places appear unsung. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay? And that's what we're going into. Okay? The shortages. Okay? And, then, and eventually, um, more specifically, Jake is going to feel that squeeze and you know pressure from above and pressure from beneath and not being able to afford their everyday dainties he's, he's just gonna go take it okay so those those those, um, those song storehouses are gonna be unsung why okay because first and foremost there's a shortage on it and then eventually Jake is gonna take action like that Jamaican woman you know during uh, C19 I'm hungry the hungry, we can't take it. If you don't eat, we're gonna take drastic measures. You see, and that was a, a, a woman saying that. So you can imagine the mindset that are gonna be on these men, okay? And not just on the men of Israel, but all the nations. You see that in World War Z, okay? 
she hit the fan and you saw police officers in the grocery store looting. Okay? But it shows you the culmination of things that were written in the scripture. Okay? And how it goes hand in hand. The scriptures along with current events. Okay? So let's get one more and close out. Boy, Iowab. This is the book of Job, chapter one. Job 1 and 20, and obviously, you know, this is going into the afflictions that, that befell Job, and you know, Job is basically a representation, okay, of, um, you know, the nation of Israel, and he was an actual man that lived, but also it uh, represents uh, the nation of Israel as a whole, okay, so Job 1 and 20, it says, then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved uh, shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshiped right and, and that's the mindset that you should be in okay especially if you're catching afflictions why because the scriptures say well all things work to the good of them that love the most high okay even when you're getting judged you know job having those boils on the top of his head to the sole of his feet okay his children being put to death all of those things work for his betterment Okay, why? Because his integrity was uh, under fire. Okay, and as we know, you know, he passed that test. Okay, he kept his integrity. Okay, this is Job chapter 1, verse 21. It says, And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return, re return thither. It says, Yahweh by Shimei I was shy gave. And how by Shemir Shai have taken away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh by Shemir Shai. Okay? So, you know, and, and that's the point I wanted to hit. You know, the Most High has given, and the Most High is going to take away. You see? And that's the beauty of having the understanding of the scriptures and knowing what's going on and having that eyesight to see the signs of the times. Okay, why? Because the scriptures say that the prudent man perceived the evil and hide it from himself. Okay? But that's what we're seeing. The most high have given Esau, Edom, power and dominion. Okay? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Psalm 75, okay, promotion cometh not from the east nor the west. Okay? For the most high is the judge. He set up one and put it down another. Okay? So just as the most high has given him dominion, He's taking it away. Okay? So, yeah, I believe I hit the point in our Lord willing this was edifying. So with that, I say, Kwame Yashirala and the Baba Ball. Shalom.